welcome back everyone to Pokemon Coliseum. Last episode we got started off, ran around here and into the train station, and then back to here several times over, but this time around they said there's something going on in town. And the mayor might be in trouble, so we're going to help him. No creepy guy this time? Oh, there's a creepy guy still. Master Mir B, it's him. He's the one who took the girl from us. Oh, now aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me that you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Mark or something? I so don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing. She can see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That just will not do for what we're planning to do. No, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. I have banana shoes, what's up with this? Boys, oh boys. Yes, yes we will. I shall make my return to Pi right now. Do remember that I will be waiting for you to return with the little lady. Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. <laughs> Let the music spin, let's get it on! Salsa! You last time you caught me off guard, it's not gonna happen again! Oh, what'd you do? Get rid of one of your Wismer? Or did they fuse into one? Esteban has fainted. Blast it, I got tripped again! My turn now. I'm not gonna end up like folly. Because I'm turdly. Well, this is easy. I have a dark type attack for Duskull and a psychic type attack for Spinarak. Mark, it's that one, that Pokemon. Those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon. I can see a black aura coming from it. They must have done something to it. Ow. Be careful. This Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people. I know, Mark. I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Please, you have to. You can... Actually, only you can. 
<laughs> making fun of the fact that I am the protagonist. Well, that was the most intense leer I've ever seen. Take out Dust Skull there, Espeon. going here. I really love how Reflect looks in this game too, with just the little shards of the mirror there instead of the full screen. It makes so much more sense that how it actually debuffs some of the attacks, as opposed to why are they punching through a wall? Um, we'll bite you. Call you. Espion! That should just about put it in capture range. Can I use two Pokeballs at once? Oh, Snag Machine is charging after use. It can't be used again right away. That is mine now. Thank you. Pokemon! Darn it, but you're good. You snagged my Pokemon. So, uh, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed. Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got... We're gonna get flattened again. Mr. Mr. Mere B's gonna chew us out. What do we do? What is there to do? Run away! You did it, Mark! You snagged that Pokémon from that goon! But I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys. Look at that guy. I'm like, was that shiny? But no, he's just covered in a dark aura. The door to its heart is tightly shut. Poor fella. We shall heal you. Literally, I need to go to the Pokemon Center. That's the shop. Heal me, healing lady. Now what do we do? Can I leave town or... Okay, I can't leave town. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass. Who's going to beat me? You are? Mystery Troop Bluno has a really cool music. Mark, there's a Pokemon with a black aura. Another one already? Sweet. Uh, 
that tiny little splash sound it makes for that huge wave. It's like, whoop, splash. Come on, secret power. Hit it for paralysis, please. drop in this environment. I got a paralysis before though. Alright, let's take out this point real quick. You bit the wrong fox. Oh no, you knew exactly what you're doing. This guy is getting surprisingly competent. Uh, do I have any potions? Yeah, I bought some. I bought a whole bunch of things last episode, didn't I? so sad. And I'm pretty sure it just died because when Spoink stops hopping, its heart stops beating. Oh, yeah, torment. We're tormenting you! Uh, hopefully this doesn't boost your power too much. Nope, that was just about perfect. Alright, let's try out that great ball I picked up. Yay, Crocodile's mine! You're tough! Truly and Folly can't be blamed for losing! What was that strange Pokémon? What did you people do to it? That? It's a Pokémon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. No, you didn't! You artificially close the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? <laughs> Knowing that isn't going to help you do anything. I know. When I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling with it. Let's go. Those guys are probably heading for Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite Town that they captured me. But what about the other ones? If the blue guy had a Crocona who has a hold item, then the red guy probably has a Quilava. Unless this is how you choose your pseudo starter. Wait, now I want to put Makuhita up there too. Do, 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 do. 
At least the healing's pretty fast here. Out of my way, Jeremy. Come on, red guy. Oh no, missed my chance. Construction site for an immense tower, which will have a coliseum on the top floor. I guess I have to go here on my way to Pyrite? Whoa, hold it there. This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. It's no place for tourists to visit. Go on, scream. Yep. It's been a mighty long time. I can't rightly recall when it was last that I was last at home. But we're just about done here. All that's left is to clean up the site and we're done. Ah, uh, I've been working hard, I have. Let me tell you, making this here huge tower is one massive job. It's hard to imagine even for me. Y'all come back here and visit when we're all done here. There'll be a coliseum on top of the tower. Amazing stuff. But what will be inside the tower? Nothing. Now we can go to Pyrite. A rough and dirty town full of thugs and scoundrels. It is said to be the home to sinister Pokemon. Mr. Johnson, give me a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See ya. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your faces around these parts. What are you, tastes? If you don't want to get height, you should get lost and quick for the good of your health. I want my fortune. Tell me how rich I will be. We call Fayetteen, the mother of Pyrite. Her ability as a fortune teller is highly regarded. Oh, just a while ago, she even determined where my, life, my wife is living since she left me. Ooh. Find what you seek, be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fatine's fortune telling chamber. I am Fatine. If ever a problem clouds your brow, you shall come to me. Whatever your problem may be, my fortune telling shall lead to the solution. <laughs> Just not right now. Get out of here. There's a lot of junk lying around this town. You thugs make mere bees newest recruits. Well, shoot, beat it. I don't have any money to give the likes of you. Oops, steamy. Yo, your outfit's kind of weird. You're a trainer too, aren't you? Good, that's okay then. I'll teach you about one of the few rules of this town. Here, we have street battles rather than exchange greetings. Chaser Kalda. My Taylor's eyes are adorable. No shadow Pokemon? That's good. Uh-oh. 
I don't know what hyper mode is, but it doesn't sound good. Holy Toledo, that was a lot of damage. Alright, so hyper mode, if I call you out, I assume, is what that's for. Let's get that centered out of here. Krakena! I'm back! Oh dang, calling out to him actually lowers their shadow levels a little. Hyper mode is a good. I'm a slack off, guys. Quit picking on me. I just gotta watch out. Shadow Rush does do that recoil. The heck was up with that quick attack? Boom, baby. Krakena looks like it has the HP to take the recoil. I mean, Makuhita probably does too, had I not been packed. Hi there. Okay, potions are rather useless when you're starting out at such a high level. You better than me. What kind of outfit are you wearing anyways? Spikes on a purple jumpsuit? I tripped myself up, but you're not bad at all. Your Pokemon are tops. You can see it in your eyes. You're just like us. It's easy to see. Ooh, you've got ribbons. No, oh, look what we have here. You're quite the hardy. Why don't you lose that wallflower and be my sweetie? Wait a second. Are, did you... You call me a wallflower? What about me makes me a wallflower? Look at her, she's all serious. Uncool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not to my taste. That's it. I'm furious now. Be a man. Stomp her down. Stomp? Who, me? <laughs> That's a laugh. Come on, then. I'll go easy on you. Jeez, cat fight? What are chasers? What is a chaser? Open. I almost forgot how creepy Zubat's old 3D model kind of was. See how you like double shadow rush. Or single shadow rush if we do enough damage. Oh. Wait, we were faster than a Zubat? Get all serious. What kind of man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not going to win the hearts of girls that way. Mark, it was here in the square that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. Then why were you even here? Phew. 
Yeah, you looking for a battle with me? That's too funny. Come at me as if your life depended on it. Yeah. I'm the Vant Rider. My brother's Rider Willy. Oh, Mark, there's a Pokemon with the Black Aura! Oh, hey, Croconaut got scary face after loving me enough. Um, I don't want to hit you too hard and knock out the Shadow Pokemon. Why does the ground have to tremor every time a Pokeball activates? It's kind of intense. Oh, I did not think that through. Ow. Oh, that was Tickle. I thought it said Tackle. I'm like, I don't remember Tackle looking like that. Oh, don't be like that. So diabolical. Let's try biting Mistrevis. Okay, so you can't snap out of confusion by calling to him. I thought for sure you could. Whoa, Krakena. Okay, Mistrevis can actually take a hit a little bit better than I thought it could. Yeah, if we could quit doing that, that'd be great. My Pokemon aren't that ticklish. Oh, now you're gonna confuse my Umbreon too? Have you no soul? Maybe if I call out to one that's not locked away by darkness? Umbreon! Nope, okay. So, you can't snap yourself out of confusion, but you can wake him up. That seems silly. I was just about to compliment that Skitty, but then I remembered Shadow Rush and I've been hit with Tickle so many times. itself out. There we go. Ah. 
Okie dokie, let's see here. I'm gonna risk a Pokeball. No, not B button, I want A button. And we'll let, see if we can chip it down there if it lives. Yeah, I kind of figured it was going to break free right away. Ow. That hurt a lot. Oh, I only have one Pokemon left. I don't have any revives, do I? I do not. Why do I have ice heals? Try another Pokeball, and I will have Makuhita attack. I'm surprised these trainers continue the battle after they see I can snag their Pokemon. Like, what's stopping them from saying, uh, yeah, this battle's over? Oh, so close. Well, somebody's about to get knocked out. Oh boy. Boy, Kraken are actually pretty good health. Actually, let's use that great ball I've got. I was hopefully hoping to save it, but I think it's an emergency. I was going to lose for a minute there. Like how they lose their Pokemon and they still have to pay me money. Wow, that was easy for you. Losing like that snapped me out of my hyper state. Did you know, if a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, call its name and its head will snap back into reality. Why do the trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it now, this town's hiding a big secret. Yeah, and the fact that the people here just seem to accept it as the norm is also really weird. That's the shop. That's the hotel. Uh, where's the Pokemon Center? I need to heal. That's just a very big, strong looking man. Maybe the hotel is the Poké Center. No, this is not the Pokémon Center. Come on, Jeremy, we gotta get out of here. This is a seedy hotel. Hmm. Maybe this town doesn't have a Pokémon Center. If so, that's kind of a bad thing. Thankfully, it is the end of the episode, so I'll run off in between episodes to go heal. So, come back in next time, people, and watch what happens next. Ciao!